This is um, a mini mare, four years old. Her name is Lucy. Main reason I wanted to make a video with her in it is because um, she is kind of a personality that a lot of people are not used to uh, experiencing, especially in the stock horse world. Um, and since I have been involved with um, lots of other breeds that are more expressive than your typical stock horse, her personality um, kind of makes me giggle. So she is here to learn how to drive. There we go. But I like every horse to have um, these basic tools of, there we go. Um, I like to think about it as the language of touch and the language of suggestion because that makes the most sense to me and other programs describe it differently and that's perfectly okay. Um, so much of what I'm going to do with a horse that's going to be ridden or driven has to do with touch or suggestion. So with her, um, for instance, in a driving animal, I will touch them on the side with the whip to have them move over. So if I don't have a really good clear language from here I don't expect that I will under saddle there I like the response to be measured um, that would be a little less measured from um, one step just like the last and right now she's kind of there we go pushing into me there we go and kind of saying meh this kind of personality in my previous life as a more of a stock horse trainer would be a bit frowned upon um, or looked at as disobedient um, but you know more you do better and um, especially getting involved in my beloved hackneys they are a very expressive breed and they were bred to be so um, the interesting thing with um, horses that are more expressive uh, is that they can be both or either, depending on how you want to put it, um, a renegade or a superstar. Again, as I said in the previous video I posted with my three-year-old, this Maris four, that um, I teach them to step away before I teach them to come to. Because the question was once posed to me, why would you want to teach a horse to step away if you want them to connect with you? And the answer is, stepping away means safety. I will be safer if she will step away from me when I ask her to. Um, it's also, builds confidence within them that they can stay out farther away from me. Her confidence level went down when she was farther away from me. And with a driving horse, since they're going to be kind of, they go solo out there, I want to build up her confidence level that when she's far away from me, she understands that she's okay. Um, something I start pretty early with the driving horses is I touch them on the ribs for them to move sideways. There we go. And the other thing with this little mare is that she is incredibly smart. But today, because she's quite bright, all of this is going pretty well. Actually, it's going very well. Did it not forward? There, good. So we'll see what she remembers from yesterday. Yesterday, I was asking her to lunge and she was leaping, jumping, skipping, rearing, changing direction, and all together <laughs> freestyling the whole process. And what I want to do, and what I want to teach her, is that, um, that lunging is much more about, woo, 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 body positioning, 
and um, becoming more organized instead of this stuff. Now, I know she knows how to lunge because I know the owners. Um, but what is missing is clearer guidance in the lunging. Can you cheer up? And so that's what I want to show you today. If you get a fish on the line that looks like this, um, I want to give you some ideas as to what um, better uh, lunging would look like. So what I want to do is teach her that while we're lunging, yeah, I do have cookies in my pocket. While we're lunging, I want her to maintain, oh goodness, oh goodness. I want her to maintain a posture that is going to be more healthy than all of these interesting postures that she's offering. Um, first thing is that she is of the opinion that faster is better. So easy, easy, easy. And I don't want to jerk on the line or do anything like that because I want the line and eventually the bit to be a means of communication. So I want her to think about having a flexion a little bit towards me. And then I want to show her by either a movement or a light touch to take the inside, her basically her entire torso away from me. There we go. Right now her walk is still a little bit quick. There we go, walk on. Good, good. Sometimes the littles get to going so fast because by comparison, they're, if, if we're, you see I'm walking pretty slow. If I got to walking, they'd have to walk pretty fast to keep up with me. So I want to look at each horse with in their own functionality. So right there, she gets to going too fast, too far over the shoulders, too much in a hurry. I don't, I don't mind. In fact, I kind of like that she's a little bit sparky, but there, she also will benefit from bringing the nervous system down there we go. Bring it down. You don't need to look at me quite that much. Oh my goodness. Bring it down. Bring it down. And like I said, I don't want to... What's going too fast is not her nose. It's her torso. And so what I want to do is start talking to her torso. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. Now she can walk in a better balance. She's walking over all four feet instead of her hindquarters just pushing her over onto her shoulders. Learning about healthy movement and healthy postures is not just for big horses. It's for the health of the littles too. This is much better and she's in a better um, place in her nervous system because she's not in a big hurry. And sometimes it can be interesting to tweeze apart the disposition and exuberance from the nervous system being overactive. A rush is a rush, um, but forward has long strides. And it's hard for them to be forward with long strides if they're in a big rush. That's better. Walk on. There we go. Now I want to practice with her at a walk, sending her outwards on the circle. Little touches, I need your nose out a little too. There, good. And then I'm going to have her reverse. And I want to do the same thing this way at the walk. And this isn't too bad, but she's looking outside a little too much. There we go. That's better. 
I'm going to send her. No, I don't want your nose in here that much. And I don't want you going quite that fast. Not quite that fast. Thank you. There we go. And when I'm doing this, I have to offer her, you know, relaxation in my nervous system because if I'm uptight, then my aids are going to be too fast and they'll set off her nervous system. Okay, right now she's sorting that out. There we go. I try to be very neutral with my stick down. Walking slowly. That's nice, you love the dirt. And I can still see that she's being a little bit overreactive to things. Again, a nervous system on the edge. Um, and that's one thing that I notice about her is the um, uh, abrupt changes. She'll stop abruptly, she'll walk abruptly. And that to me, and she's, um, the noises that she's hearing are horses blowing their nose. So, there we go. There we go, and walk, good. And so she's kind of jumping at that. Hoppa. There you go. Not quite so fast, please. Not quite so fast, please. Thank you. Walk on. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Hi. And so I do want to spend time with activities that will um, help with connection. Hi. Yeah. Oh yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, oh, it feels so good. 